Hello. In this video, I'm gonna um, take you over creating a shift template, applying a shift template, apply and repeat a shift template, and modifying a shift template. A shift template um, is basically a collection of shifts that um, happen every week or every month. So you can club the most common shifts and put them in a template, which makes it easier to create a schedule. A shift template can include one shift or hundreds of shifts. It can also, shift template can be created for shifts in one week or um, during a month or a couple of months as, as how your work, organizational workflow goes. For this video purpose, I, I'm going to create a shift template for a shifts for one week. As you can see, I've got shifts from Sunday, June 14th to the Saturday, June 20th. So to, um, first thing is to select the shifts that you want to include in the shift template. There are a couple of ways to select it. I can just go drag and drop and select all the shifts or alternatively, you can also right click here and go select all shifts. You can see all the shifts are ticked. That means they're all selected. Now to create a shift template, I'll go to the shift tools and choose create shift template. Give it some name. I'm gonna name it as weekly schedule. Schedule one and create. So that is how easy just with a few clicks you have created a shift template. Now, next thing is to, is to how to apply a shift template. So to apply, go to the next week, which is a completely clean week. There are no shifts there. And to apply a shift template, go to the shift tool. You can either select this option here, or you can select this option here, apply shift template here. The most key part here in this um, step is uh, the choosing the correct date to apply the template from. As you can see, it's defaulting to Sunday the 21st. That's the correct date if, because if you remember my um, shifts that I had included in the templates for the last week were from June the 14th, which was the last sun, which is last Sunday. So since I created the template for the shift starting from Sunday, I need to make sure that I'm applying the template from Sunday as well. So this is correct 21st and I'm gonna select the template, which I named it as weekly schedule one. And then I click apply. And as you can see, the shifts are um, pasted. They're not saved yet. If you think that you have made any mistake, quickly you can do undo and then change whatever um, mistake that you've done. If you chose the wrong date, then make sure that you choose the correct date and then go apply again. If you're happy with the results, then you just go ahead and save the changes. So that's how easy it is to apply the shift template. Next thing is apply and repeat. If you want to um, basically repeat the same shifts for the next two, two or three weeks, you can use the apply and repeat um, shift template function. So to do that, go to the next week, which is a clean week. Go here and go apply shift template. Choose the template that you want to apply. Make sure the date is correct, starting from Sunday in this case. And instead of apply, you now click apply and repeat. Now you can see the, the, the template is applied for the week starting from 28th. And then you also have an option to um, choose how you wanna repeat it. So I wanna repeat it every seven days because I want to do it next couple of weeks. So every seven days and two times. Most important again here is choosing the date. As it defaults to this date, but you do not want on 28th because you already have pasted the shifts starting from 28th of June. So you've got to make sure that you choose the next week, which is the 5th of July. And go paste. And you can see the counter here is changed now. So that tells you like the shifts have been pasted for the next couple of weeks. We can quickly check that before saving the changes. So go to the next week starting from 5th. You can see all the shifts are here and go to the next week and up to 18th of July, we pasted the shifts. So if you're happy with all the changes, click save 
to save all the changes to the database. Now, next part is um, modifying the ship template. If, for example, Mark Francis is, this is the last day of his work and he is no longer going to be working with your organization. So you do not want him to be included in the ship template from going on, onwards. Like say from next week onwards, you do not want Mark Francis. If you make a change to the shift here, it will only change the shift in this week. It, so if you if I make a change here and if I select say James for this shift, it's only gonna um, this change is gonna be applied only for this shift on this day and not on the master template. So to make the change in the master template, so going forward when you apply the template instead of Mark, you want James in his place then for that basically you need to modify the shift in the shift template itself so to modify the shift you go here into the settings click on shift template option choose the template that you want to modify and look for the shift that look for the shift that you want to modify so i want to modify the shift for mark francis on this day so i'm going to choose the shift and then go update the shift. So choose the name that you wanna, choose the employee name who will be replacing Mark going forward after the 18th of July, after the 15th of July and go okay. And as you can see now, instead of Mark Francis, I have now James Marcos here. Now, if I go back to the schedule and if I move to the next week and I want to apply the shift template now, starting from Sunday, the 19th of June, choose the template and go apply. And as you can see, instead of Mark Francis now, James Marcos appears here because we updated the shift in the shift template, in the master template. And you go apply. So going forward, Mark won't be the, um, the person. So if I want, if you want to apply, you you can. If you don't want to, I don't want to apply. Um, but you can. That's how you modify the shift template. So that's about it. That's creating a shift template, applying, apply and repeat, and modify the shift template. Thank you.